All right, we're doing an unboxing for the classic controller for N64 by TTA Tech. I guess that's what that's called. Um, let's see what it's like. A little unboxing and review for it. See how these things hold up. Maybe shine up or something. Awesome blister packs. Banana yellow. Let's see, wow. It feels like a good controller. Now, let's see how it plays. Alright, so we played two games. We played Perfect Dark and Smash Brothers. Um, it, it played pretty decent. Um, you know, it was, it was, the controls were really twitchy. It was like you go far, I mean, real quick, like when you're in your aiming zone. Um, I mean, overall feel, it is. It, we were matching it compared to an actual first-party Nintendo, and it was just it, it felt exactly the same. But I just, it, I just felt something was off, and not really realizing it until we were playing Smash Brothers where you get the little hand icon where you pick your character and I was like, wow, like, you know, it's swinging the character around with uh, your hand around with the stick and, like, this, the character on screen was just like, it was like going in, like, diagonals and not like circles and it was going fast and then I tried my cousin's, which was the actual Nintendo one and I was, like, going around and, like, the hand was like, went real slow, and I was like, okay, so that's the difference. This thing is just twitchy, but, I mean, it'll get you along, toss in the backpack, bring it to your friend's house, you know, whatever, you spill a soda on it, go for it, you know, but it was inexpensive, so not a big loss, and <laughs> the stick, you know, isn't leaning to one side, so it's not bad, not a bad, not a bad fix. For all, would I recommend it? Probably not, but if you can't find anything, it's worth a shot of it.